Psychologist Dr. Jeff Gardier joins us now, a contributor to healthguru.com. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Maggie. This woman faces five years in prison. In your view, was her behavior criminal? Her behavior was criminal. It was atrocious. It was absolutely stupid. And I think at this point, she realizes what she did was wrong. She got caught up in the moment. But good parenting does not dictate that you egg your child on. You work with your child and teach them conflict resolution skills. And I have to point out, she was afraid that her daughter might get hurt in the back of the head because she had a previous head injury. And as we can see, she's been hit with rabbit punches in the back of the head several times. So this is absolutely horrific. But not only did she get caught up in the moment, we see her walking with her daughter to the fight, so it appears she knew about it beforehand and didn't try to stop it. it seems, Where's the parenting here? Right. It seems like a lot of people knew about it. As you could see, they're surrounded by folks. You know, they posted this thing on YouTube, of course. The parenting was non-existent here, and I think we've seen this before, where parents get caught up. They're living vicariously through their children, and so I guess she wants her daughter to win because in her own way, She's helping her daughter uh, with her self-esteem, but it's absolutely the wrong thing. Maybe she wants herself to win to say that she's got a champion on her hands, but it, it is, again, atrocious. Another mom shows up and doesn't stop it either. So, so why is this happening? I mean, it's not just one lone mother who was clueless. It's at least two in this case. Absolutely, and as well as other people surrounding them. I think what's going on is that we're seeing more of these girls gone wild sorts of situations um, as women have gotten more rights, equal rights, as they should, I think they are making the same mistakes that males make. You know, letting that testosterone flow, trying to solve problems by physically fighting. And in fact, what we find out, you're not solving anything. I always say to my young patients uh, that your mind is your best weapon. We need to teach our children how to solve problems in the long run and not try to solve them in the short run yes. by winning a fight because no one wins and these girls could have been severely injured. Is it wrong, in your opinion, that the school's not touching this with a 10-foot pole? They say it happened outside of our campus, so the girls can come back to school, no problem. Let me tell you, I think the school is absolutely wrong by not getting involved. Statistics show that uh, kids are involved. 30% of kids in our schools, if not more, are involved in these fights and bullying and so on. When schools step in and they do workshops on stemming violence, on learning conflict resolution skills, we dramatically drop these uh, incidents of fighting and bullying and so on. So the school must step in and do workshops and get involved. I don't care that it wasn't on school grounds. The school knows about it. They better do something about it. They I have agree. to set an example. I agree, but it ultimately starts with the parents, and hopefully every parent learned a lesson from this. Absolutely. Thank you parents so much, working with the schools. All right, Jeff. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Maggie.